Global investment in coal tumbles by 75% in three years, as lenders lose appetite for fossil fuel. More coal power stations around the world came offline last year than were approved for perhaps first time since Industrial Revolution, report says. Here's a summary of the article. While dependence on coal remains high, with coal-fired power plants currently fueling around 38% of global electricity, a new report indicates the demise of coal is already well underway. This is shown by a collapse in final investment decisions for coal plants, which have tumbled by 75% in three years. The report says a total of 236 gigawatts of coal plants are under construction worldwide. The rate at which coal power plants are being decommissioned has risen to the extent that despite new power plants coming online, there was a net reduction in coal power being used globally over 2018. Last year, with FIDs going down, the IEA noted, it appears that banks, insurance companies, hedge funds, utilities and other operators in advanced economies are exiting the coal business. In the West, the move away from coal has gathered pace, with Europe's overall use of coal down a quarter, while in the US it has fallen by 40% over the last 10 years. Mr. Guterres said he will call on leaders to stop subsidizing fossil fuels, and wants countries to build no new coal power plants after 2020. This post received a score of 29,604, with an upvote ratio of 94%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Good. Thank God. The amount of people that coal pollution kills each year is mind-boggling. And yet we still pay huge amounts of taxpayer money to support it, even though it's been proven that Fossil Fuel Corps used that taxpayer money to do millions of dollars worth of unprecedented science in order to confirm that they would dramatically alter our atmosphere and then spent millions more to hide it. And hash X200B. Edit, the scariest photocopy I've seen in my two decades on this earth, from the minutes from a meeting of the American Petroleum Institute in 1980. Deaths per trillion kilowatt hours broken down by energy type. This includes deaths from the waste, as well as death from collecting the resource. Good link, but historical data askews the data. Even the article admits the CAA had significant impact, but fails to quantify that statement. A Forbes contributor published a misleading article. Looking at you, Australia underscore underscore underscore. We closed the Northern plant in South Australia a few years ago. We closed the Hazelwood plant in Vic, about two years ago. We closed a WA coal plant in the last couple of years. All of this despite government action to stop renewables for six years. Greater than no one is genuinely planning a new coal plant. What about the Adani Carmichael plant? Not a power plant, is a mine and new rail line project. The rail line is a bad part as it allows other mines to be opened up in the area. This may be in part due to the EU having companies purchase each ton of CO2 they release. And the amount of those allowances is decreasing every year so it becomes more and more expensive for them to keep using methods that aren't environmentally friendly. Natural gas prices have plummeted over the last 5 to 10 years. That priced coal out of the market. And AFAIK natural gas is still largely a fossil fuel. It's a fossil fuel and often found in the same deposits as oil. However it burns significantly cleaner than coal, so the recent switch from coal to natural gas is still a big win for both climate and health. Natural gas is necessary for a transition to a cleaner power grid but in terms of being cleaner than coal it's very dependent on leakage. Uncombusted methane has an enormous global warming potential when compared to CO2 and it's possible that leakage both at drilling sources and plants can largely offset any climate benefits over coal. There's a lot still unknown about exactly how much leakage occurs so the benefits for climate change aren't exactly clear. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.